Yo, BJ Gador with the Daily BJ. Grab a pair of 10 to 25 pound dumbbells and get ready for what I call the walking dead. Great kind of walking carry variations that will improve whole body strength, stability, really get your heart rate going, especially for time. And uh, if you have the space, this is the workout to ideally use more space. But again, you can always do a couple reps forward, a couple reps back to make it work in small spaces. Built in warm up, we're gonna start with the bear worm. It's basically if a bear had sex with a worm or an inchworm, it'd become this exercise. That is uh, that's beyond NC17, by the way, that's a freak show. So we're locked in, hips and shoulders square to the ground, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. I'm gonna walk out into a push-up position and then bring the feet with me. I can make it harder by going not just to shoulder level, but overhead, more of a core shoulder challenge and keep repeating that pattern. Now, I could also then come backward, which is harder, especially when you're pulling the dumbbells. So you walk out into that. Slow and steady wins the race, especially when you're working for extended time periods. Great exercise, have fun with it. Go, go lighter in the beginning. You can always go heavier from round to round or workout to workout. From there, walking hip hinges. Love these. Big focus on the hinges. You will think, oh, it's a glute hand movement, but it's so important to keep the shoulder, the rear shoulder active, down and depressed. If you get loose here, you'll get loose at the low back and loose form and technique. Also, we're not trying to go too far in this, just from the point where that trunk would be parallel to the floor, go as light as you need to. But it's a walking pattern. People usually do walking lunges. Very rarely we do walking hinges. This is very glute ham and entire backside dominant. So what I'm gonna do is slight bend in that knee, gonna hinge at the hips until I nice active shoulders packed. I'm right through. Step, same thing other side. Slow and controlled. You'll find which leg is a little bit more troublesome. I'm not just coming through on the hinge, I'm actively taking that trail heel and I'm kind of driving through to the sky and squeezing that glute through. Hips and shoulders square, rib shoulders down, active rear delt. Keep pulling it through. This is not something you want to go backwards on. Once you would reach the end, you would just turn the other way and keep going. But uh, really gonna help shore up any sort of asymmetries. Uh, do the best you can with it. Don't go any lower than about knee shin level. Again, the bottom position for us here is gonna be right there, locked in. All right, when you go body weight, you can go lower, but no need when we're loaded up like that. Next movement is walking overhead presses. So anytime we go overhead, there's a great core involvement. So pay attention to that. If you're gonna start dumbbells here, I'll show you how to make it harder with the same weight in a second. But if I step with my left, I press with my right. You can kind of make it happen simultaneously too. All right, nice and smooth. This one's gonna really shred up your stomach and your core. Not that it's gonna burn belly fat, but it is whole body, so it will burn belly fat. We're not spot reducing, but you're gonna feel it in the guts. Now, if I wanna make it more challenging, do that same pattern starting with both dumbbells overhead. So I would basically step, step, and now there's just a lot more stabilization demands the step when I'm doing the press from overhead. So good luck with that one. Next movement, you've seen it before. If you haven't, welcome to fitness, walking lunges. So holding weights obviously increases the challenge and don't go too heavy so that you sacrifice range of motion. We're still trying to get full range of motion on this. So tall up top, step, land soft, back knee kisses the floor, and make sure that these puppies aren't swinging, all right? Start with a reset for each rep. Active rear delts, kind of cracking up between those shoulder blades. Step, come through, reset. Step, come through, reset. And eventually, you can make it more challenging by stepping right into the next rep. If you want to, you can go forwards and backwards. The backwards is super hard, so just know that. You would step back, you gotta really push through to return to that start position. All right, so you can go linear, forward and backward, or just forward and then switch uh, directions once you run out of space. You can also do a couple steps forward, a couple steps back, and make it work for your space allotment. Up next, walking curls, same concept. Whatever foot you're stepping with, opposite hand is doing the curl. And this can be hammer curl or it can be Twist curl, totally up to you. But I'm gonna step, twist, step, 
twist, step, twist. Keep repeating that pattern and working that. Now, if I wanted to, and this, this you'll probably do either with a hammer curl or you could hold like this, but I could hold a non, I could start both hands in a 90 degree flexed hold. And then what I would do is as I step, step, I do a full range of motion, but I always return to that fixed position. Okay, so that's another way. If you wanna make a lightweight feel heavy, just hold isometrically, just like with the overhead press, it's a way to make that super challenging with the same weight. And in the final movement, put one dumbbell down, ideally hold it goblet style. Uh, sometimes you get in trouble lateral lunges going too low or rounding the back, this prevents it. What I'm gonna do is step to the side, hip shoulder square, come right inside that foot, and then in one fluid motion, come to the return. I don't wanna drag or take extra steps with that trail leg. So step, so I actually have to use my adductors working both inner outer hip thigh. So lateral glute right here, but adductors as I pull myself through that return position, uh, go halfway in one direction, and then spend the next half of the set going in the other direction or a couple steps this way, a couple steps that way based on space. Step, pull through, keep the hips and shoulders square, chest up, shoulders higher than the hips, and keep rocking that pattern. It's an excellent workout. I think you'll have fun with it. And again, it's, uh, there's coordination, there's balance, and uh, as always, I'm gonna burn the fat.